keep cool, my baby. It's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good. All right, everybody, settle down. Settle down. It's like TGIFs in here. I don't know what that means, even. <laughs> Just because we're serving ribs soon. That's all I meant by it. All right, man, we got a fine program tonight. You know what's a good show when Max Weinberg's wearing his rock and roll brown suit? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Rock drummer, real estate agent. All right, no, it looks good. <laughs> Look good. Excellent show this evening. We're going to... Like a club. Ah. <laughs> Where is, is this Max's camera here? I always like to be on Max's camera occasionally. <laughs> We've done this from time to time, but I really believe it's a better show. <laughs> right? I just love anyone watching right now, like in a hospital waiting room. The sound's down, they looked away for a second, they look up, and then they just see this. <laughs> Nothing says quality like this. <laughs> Jeff, let's get an ad in TV Guide that's just this. <laughs> All right, that's a good idea. All right, well, we have a um, fantastic show this evening, I actually went into the future, looked at it. It's really good. <laughs> I get sick at the end, so. <laughs> much to talk about here, much going on in the news. President Bush is keeping busy. That's right, President Bush announced today that he uh, wanted to institute a test to ensure that high school students are reading at their grade level. He wants a test to make sure that high school students read at their grade level, yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah, Bush said the program is necessary because many students aren't reading at their grade level, they're reading at presidential level. <laughs> I love the help, thank you. What's with, the, what's with the polite applause tonight? Never had that before. It's the Dutch parliament here, this is very nice. I tell a joke and a bunch of people go, yes, yes. <laughs> Last night was the final episode of the weight loss show, The Biggest Loser. Anybody see this? <laughs> oh, I guess we did see it, yeah, yeah. This is a big thing. It was the weight loss show, The Biggest Loser. And the winner was a guy from Spokane, Washington. Yeah. Yeah, while appearing on the show, this is fascinating. Very impressive. While appearing on the show, the guy lost 122 pounds, eight inches on his waistline, and all of his dignity. That's <laughs> pretty hard to do. That's not straight. Very nice. It's very, this is a nice, very nice crowd. I like these people. <laughs> very polite. This week, Britney Spears wrote a letter to Christina Aguilera in which... <laughs> wow. That's the big joke. <laughs> Everyone's like, ha, she can't write. <laughs> I just don't do it. Where does he think of this stuff? It's true. This is all true. This week, Britney Spears wrote a letter to Christina Aguilera in which she says she wants to end their ongoing feud. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure Britney's letter's gonna work because it starts out, Dear Skank. <laughs> no polite applause on Skank. Whoa, that's terrible. I'm getting out of here. The New York Post, they're always right. The New York Post reports that Donald Trump invited but what the hell are you getting paid <laughs> donald trump invited both his ex-wives to his latest wedding this month but they turned him down yeah yeah the ex-wives say they're too busy to go to this wedding but we'll be happy to go to trump's next one so they'll, <laughs> they'll catch it down right? And then I gotta mention this, in a recent interview, Star, of course, I was reading for months about Star Jones' uh, wedding, and then she had the wedding, and it was like the most over-the-top crazy thing you've ever seen. Well, in a recent interview, Star Jones says that her extravagant wedding was, quote, for the eight-year-old in me. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then Jones admitted she's also eaten a nine-year-old and a 10-year-old. such a good show tonight. <clears throat> Love tonight's show. 
First guest tonight, great guy, very talented, thrilled that uh, he's a good friend of the show, Grammy Award winning singer, songwriter, the man does it all, he'll paint your house if you want him to, John Mayer is on the show. Great musician, very nice guy. Rare combo, no offense. Um, Second guest is an Emmy, Golden Globe, Tony nominated actor. He's won every award you can win. He has the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> You've seen him in the award winning HBO miniseries Angels in America. Now he's in the brand new movie Phantom of the Opera. Patrick Wilson is here. <laughs> wow. I love that there's actually a little mark here that I'm supposed to stay on. They've, can you see that thing? They've painted a mark on the floor. <laughs> And I'm such a monkey, I don't think I've stood on this thing ever. I'm just all, they painted this like, stay right here and the light will hit you. And I'm always like, Whoa! <laughs> We should just take this thing away. What do we even have it for? Musical guest tonight, strap yourselves in. It's fantastic. Twista and Faith Evans are on the show. They sound an amazing voice. They sound incredible. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg for the night.